Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be watching the brand new Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War trailer. I've already seen this, but I thought we would go through it together as well. I watched some of the live streamers reveal it in Warzone, and I wanted to wait until people had started uploading videos of it, just because they're like all the big streamers, they overhype it, they get players excited, they get excited for whatever reasons. They literally, they, they see one pixel that looks perfect and they start screaming. So we're going to watch it without all the fake hype and stuff. And then we will head over to the Blizzard website so that we can talk about some of the description for it. Some of the modes and stuff coming into it. This is the first reveal out of two. We have the multiplayer reveal. I believe it's on September the 9th. And then the game will release November the 13th. This video is thanks to One Media. I will leave a link to their channel in the description. And without further ado, let's jump into it. Right, so we've got gameplay's been captured on PS5, 1968. Just look at this. It is. It does look pretty good. I mean, we have to bear in mind this is only a trailer. Now we forward time to 1981. My fellow Americans, a nuclear conflict would well be mankind's last. They've always done this Black Ops series really, really good. Five days ago, we acquired intel. Soviet agent Perseus is in. I'm going to say the Black Ops series is my favorite amongst all of Call of Duty. I'm a big, big zombies fan too. The balance of the Cold War. Okay, we've got a glimpse of a gun then. I've not seen this properly, like paying attention. But I saw that bit, they drop an RCXD out of the Jeep. It just it looks action packed. Is the threat real? Just how modern warfare was. Sir, we believe it is. Give Mr. Adler whatever he wants. Straight up an aircraft carrier, rooftop jump in, vehicle action. Oh, look at that. Gotta love the bayonets. I know you won't fail us. There we go, November 13th. Order digital copy and get early access to the open beta. And it's See, that bit really, really annoys me. It, it will do because I'm an Xbox player. First on PS4. So if you're a PS4 player, you get first access to this. There's an open beta, early access, pre-order a digital copy, and you get access. It does say the beta is subject to change, so like launch dates and stuff as well. And then if we have a look, there's a little bit at the end here. But if we go back a couple of seconds. Oh yeah, this was the multiplayer bit. June buggies. Choppers of mounted guns. And then, there we go, September 9th. So that's when they're going to reveal multiplayer. I don't know how they're going to do that. Because Warzone, they obviously showed the entire trailer through Warzone. I'm hoping the multiplayer reveal isn't just done through that. As I said, I wanted to go back through this. There was a few things I missed. Because at the same time as me watching it, I was watching streamers get hyped up over the tire pressure on some of the vehicles, like some of the crazy stuff they get hyped up over. So what we're gonna do now is switch over to the tab of the Blizzard website, and we will go through some of the details for the game. Okay, so we have it here on screen. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. The Ultimate Edition is going to be 80 pound, standard is 50. I don't know the console prices, I believe standard's gonna be 60. Ultimate might be 90. I don't know if there'll be like a deluxe edition in between. But it says here, the iconic Black Ops series is back with Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And it doesn't make sense entirely because I'm pretty sure it went, what was it, Infinity Wards? It was supposed to be Sledgehammer Games and then the next one 
So in the 2021 Call of Duty was supposed to be Treyarch's, but I believe Sledgehammer had something happen. Treyarch had to step in, so now we get Black Ops a year early. But it says here, welcome to the brink, welcome to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, the direct sequel to the original and fan favourite Call of Duty Black Ops. So this is a sequel to Black Ops 1. So that could be pretty good. Pre-purchase today and get early access to the open beta. You get the Woods Operator and Weapon Blueprint in Modern Warfare and Warzone. So they're actually giving stuff away for Warzone and Modern Warfare when you are pre-purchasing this game. So it says here that you require an internet connection. You pre-purchase it to release on November 13th. Actual availability and dates are subject to change, blah, blah, blah. Then it says battle pass and tier skips will be accessible once the first battle pass is made available in-game. VAT system requirements, which they haven't released yet, and then product details. If we have a look here, standard edition, you get the game, early access to the open beta, the operator pack in Modern Warfare, then you get a confrontation weapons pack. But then if you get the ultimate edition, you also get a land, sea and air pack. And you get the season one battle pass bundle. So this is like a description of the stuff to come in the game. And this was actually released before the reveal went live in Warzone. So this here is about the campaign. Black Ops Cold War will drop fans into the depths of the Cold War's volatile geopolitical battle of the early 1980s. Nothing is ever as it seems in a gripping single player campaign. That bit is unfortunate. I really wish they went with what we had, I believe it was World of War. We actually had a co-op campaign. That would have been cool to have a co-op campaign, but I'm pretty sure the campaign will still be good. I've always loved the Call of Duty campaigns. But then to carry on where players will come face to face with historical figures and hard truths as they battle around the globe through iconic locales like East Berlin, Vietnam, Turkey, Soviet KGB headquarters and more. Then we have multiplayer. Bring a Cold War arsenal of weapons and equipment into the next generation of multiplayer in Black Ops Cold War. Engage in deniable operations as an elite operative using state-of-the-art tools of the tradecraft across a variety of experiences from small skirmishes to all-out vehicle fueled warfare. I don't know if that's going to come in the form of ground war like they did with Modern Warfare they had the ground war, it was a huge amount of players, you had tanks and stuff, but we did see choppers, and if that is the case of being able to jump into multiplayer, they've got maps big enough in Call of Duty to have one of you pilot and the other one have a gun, or that might be some form of a kill streak. we're not entirely sure yet, but could you imagine Call of Duty with flyable, like pilotable choppers, and you have a friend on your minigun, that would be pretty cool. Although I don't think that is the case. I'm pretty like pretty sure that's going to be a kill streak of some sort. But then we move on to zombies. Uncover dark Cold War experiments that unleash a new zombie threat to take on in frightening and intense cooperative gameplay with friends. Zombies, I've absolutely loved. All the Black Ops, just give me zombies. I, I want to try it and just see what it's all about. I've played ever since World of War, like Verrucked, and then we moved on to Black Ops. We had Five, we've had Moon, Ascension, we had Kino the Totem, Natsuron Totem, the Reese. There's been so many different maps. Call of the Dead, Mob of the Dead. I've played every single one of them. Absolutely fucking loved them. Origins, and then you had the later ones like Gorod Krovi and stuff. I've absolutely loved this, so I really hope Zombies is good on Cold War. I will be diving into all of it myself, so I'm not sure on the exact video types and stuff you'll see, but November 13th is when it all begins. Then you can also get the Confrontation Weapons Pack, pre-purchase it, and receive the in-game weapons pack. And they've got pre-purchase incentives. Pre-purchase and receive early access to the open beta. You get Frank Woods as the iconic operator and an assault rifle. Weapon blueprint for immediate use in Modern Warfare and Warzone. So you also had, I believe the gun was called Bay for Pigs or something, if you jumped into the event on Warzone. I never actually did it, I just sat there and watched streamers. Then you've got the two different editions that they're selling on Blizzard. Then you've got the requirements for your PCs, not yet available. Then it just explains requirements, you need internet, blah blah blah, languages and everything like that. And that's pretty much it. So we... 
Like, all we've seen so far is a glimpse of the campaign. Like, they've revealed part of the campaign. They showed a sneak peek of multiplayer. That will be revealed further on September the 9th. And then we go into open betas and stuff. Players get their hands on. And then we wait for the release November 13th. I'm pretty sure it's going to be good. The only problem is November is the new consoles, possibly both, but definitely the Xbox Series X is coming out in November alongside a load of other good games. So November is going to be absolutely fucking chock-a-block with different content to play, to watch. There's going to be so much of it. The end of this year is going to... I'm hoping we go out with a bang. It should be big based on the stuff coming out. We've got Cyberpunk, Watch Dogs. We've got, uh, what is it, Star Wars Squadrons. We now have this. The new FIFA's coming out. I think they've just released the new Madden. There's there's lots of big games that are going to be coming out and they've just recently released. We've even got Project Cars 3, which is very, very soon, actually, tomorrow. So you can expect to see a lot of different games, a lot of different types of gameplay, tips, all them sorts of videos that I do on the channel. Possibly, if we can find a way to do some new sorts of content with this stuff, then we will do it. It is going to be an experience and a half for the rest of this year. But on that note, we're going to leave the video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.